Hey, this is Greg from Force RC. Today we're going to do an unboxing of the Super Cloud Buster by Tamiya. Uh, since the Cloud Buster came out in 1989, it really set the precedent for solid axle monster trucks in the RC business. And uh, you can still get the original Cloud Buster and the, and the Super Cloud Buster. There's been a few updates from time to time. Uh, but really it opens the door for a lot of modifications and a lot of fun you can have can do whether you want to do a solid axle monster truck or whether you want to do a crawler uh, really gives you a lot of different options so today we're going to go through and do the unboxing and then we're going to do a build series of build videos on the super cloud buster and going through the original version of it and then we're actually going to do a series on modifications and different type of things you can do with your cloud buster so here we go. So it's pretty amazing with this vehicle. Uh, there's a lot of people like myself that grew up in the 80s that uh, always wanted a Cloud Buster. And if you didn't get one as a kid, uh, still today there's a pretty solid market for getting a Cloud Buster and doing that build. All right. Here we go. All right, so we've got our Claude tires. Uh, four tires, we've got the wheels to go with them. So we got that in there. We got the hard body, uh, real nice, great, Claude body is still, still very relevant today uh, with both stock and aftermarket clods. Here we got our chassis. Uh, you can see one thing that's nice about these is it actually has um, two shock mounts on each corner. So it uh, really gives the scale look that you get in a monster truck. Here we got our Electronics, our brushed motors, the bodywork, a bunch of our screws and hardware here, wheel hubs for the wheels as well to mount those. There's a lot of the chrome accessories for the grill, uh, the headlights, building up the axles, some of the plastic parts, little pieces for the axles and steering. The links. The windows and uh, sunroof for the body. Engine parts. The nice thing about the the Super Claw Busters, they they came out with some some blue pieces for the shocks and uh, different ends for it to to give it a little bit more of a, a tone feel to it. There's a lot of people actually when they get with the aluminum or metal upgrades on it, they'll actually go and get those powder coated as well. So that'll be a cool look. Looks like they use for the, the servo. There's a lot of the internals with the screws. We got our our speed control, the, the speed control that comes with it is actually the, uh, can run two brush motors, so. It's very cool, relevant speed control there. Uh, then we got our, our internal gears for the uh, transmissions. Got our lubrications, a few tools in there. Shock springs bearings, all the screws, gears, and 
our wheels. Right here we have our manual. Along with our decal sheet. And our build manual. So uh, we'll go ahead and get everything prepped here and then we're going to come back and start doing our build.